The dominion belongs to Allah. All of this universe, with its land, rivers, mountain, people and their homes, all belong to Allah. The first word in Surah Al-Mulk, Tabarak, which means blessed, we all want blessings in our lives, and there are no blessings except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah says, Tabarak alladhi biyadihi al-mulku wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir. Blessed is he in whose hand is dominion, and he is over all things competent. When we go with the plan of Allah, then we will find so many blessings. But if we interfere and reject, then we will not find any blessings. We are all in the dominion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we cannot expect things to go according to our pace, nor can we think someone can hasten us or slow us down. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala disposes the affairs of everyone to hasten or slow them down. Life does not go in one pattern, though we like routine. But without changes, we will not be able to do things in excellence. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عمله وهو العزيز الغفور. He who created death and life to test you, which of you is best indeed? And he is the exalted in might, the forgiving. We go through different patterns in life. Sometimes we see death. Sometimes we see life. Sometimes we see progression, and sometimes we see deterioration. But it is all to bring out the best from us. We cannot do things in excellence if we have sins weighing us down. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Al-Aziz Al-Ghafoor, the Almighty, the Most Forgiving. When things do not go according to our pace, or people are not moving according to our expectations, we become frustrated. We start to boil, become impatient and restless, just as the description of hellfire in Surah Al-Mulk, where Allah says, إِذَا أُلْقُوا فِيهَا سَمِعُوا لَهَا شَهِيقًا وَهِيَ تَفُورٌ When they are thrown in it, they hear from it a dreadful inhaling while it boils up. They were similar to this description in this world, always being frustrated, always complaining. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says, وَقَالُوا لَوْ كُنَّا نَسْمَعُوا أَوْ نَعْقِلُوا مَا كُنَّا فِي أَصْحَابِ السَّعِيرُ And they will say, if only we had been listening or reasoning, we would not be among the companions of the blaze. And this shows the one frustrated does not listen or understand. We want to be humble when being nurtured by our Lord, though we do not see Him. Allah says, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ لَهُمْ مَغْفِرَةٌ وَأَجْرٌ كَبِيرٌ Indeed, those who fear their Lord unseen will have forgiveness and great reward. Surah Al-Mulk nurtures us to be tolerant to not show frustration and to be those who place their trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The one who relies on Allah is very flexible and naturally behaves the best. Allah al-Qadir decrees everything in its time. Nothing can happen except if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wills it. So we cannot underestimate any decree in our life. Every decree we go through, whether good or evil, it is all good for us, and this will make us light on the way to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَمْ يَرَوْا إِلَى الطَّيْرِ فَوْقَهُمْ صَافَّاتٍ وَيَقْبِضْنَ مَا يُمْسِكُهُنَّ إِلَّا الرَّحْمَانِ إِنَّهُ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ بَصِيرٍ Do they not see the birds above them with wings outspread and sometimes folded in? None holds them except the Most Merciful. Indeed, He is of all things seen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, look at the birds and how they stretch their wings and fly high above. And it is only Ar-Rahman who keeps them aloft. It's not the birds themselves who remain aloft. So if we want to be high up, only Ar-Rahman can hold us. When we know Allah is Ar-Rahman, then we should believe in Him and place our trust in Him. This will make us do things in excellence in the dominion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the solution to all frustration and anger is to know who is Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قُلْ هُوَ الرَّحْمَانُ آمَنَّا بِهِ وَعَلَيْهِ تَوَكَّلْنَا فَسَتَعْلَمُونَ مَنْ هُوَ فِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ Say he is the most merciful. We have believed in him and upon him we have relied. And you will come to know who it is 
that is in clear error.